I started out on YouTube just after Christmas, uh, just after the new year into 2007 and uploaded my first video in January of 2007 um, through the encouragement of one of my really good friends and we just decided on a name and just uploaded the video and that's how it kind of all began. <laughs> I realized it was turning into something a little more serious probably at the end of the at the end of the summer in 2007 when I when I actually stopped and looked over my you know the figures and the views and it was just something that was very organic it was very gradual there was no sudden jump it was something which felt very natural to me and of course since I had one more year of university to go it kind of restrained me in the sense that I had the time to take my time and I think that was really important. I started playing guitar when I was around eight or nine years old. My father taught me my first chords on actually my brother's guitar and um, it kind of went from there and through my teenage years I just practiced and practiced um, and I started singing when I was like since ever, I don't remember an age, I just apparently I used to sing in my crib. Before I leave, say what you want but it's time to I have fans everywhere and I'm so lucky to have fans everywhere because I know that um, the internet is, some, is a global phenomenon but it's, it's not always easy for everyone to have access to it so I'm, I'm really happy when I do find out I have you know, fans in Japan or fans in Malaysia, Sri Lanka, you know, Asia and, and Africa particularly. But, with Facebook and, and analytics nowadays, the technology has come so far that you can actually almost pinpoint where people live. So I, I pretty much know where my fan base is concentrated. It's very useful. I feel like I've been locked outside for a century. I love it nice for someone to release me. On the whole, being a part of the music world, of my, the one that I've created and I've constructed, has been completely positive. I can't, there are very few things about my world in music that I can feel, you know, discontent towards. It can get hard, you know, being away from your family and friends. That really is difficult, and I know it's said a lot, but, you know, anybody who puts themselves in, in that skin will realize that it's difficult. And it can get, you know, kids, it, there, is pr there are pressures and you get tired and, you know, but at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's a wonderful life and I would not trade it for anything.